Hi, and welcome to the Idiot's Guide to Killing Market. Oh. We're going to use the Skeletal Militiaman Summon and Bleeding Weapons to annihilate him. If you don't know where to get those, I made a video that shows you how to get the build I'm using, so watch that or I won't ever talk to you again. For now, let's take a step at fighting Margaret. When you first enter the boss room, Margaret will likely throw two daggers at you, but you can easily dodge those by stepping slightly to the left or right. If he doesn't follow up, you can do some damage with the special attack of the Reduvia. If you don't have ranged options, you can just punish the overhead attacks he does, provided you are able to dodge them. It might take some attempts to get used to the timing. If dodging is not your thing, you can block out most of the damage with the Great Turtle Shell. Notice how I don't take damage from the physical attacks, but I do take some damage from the yellow. If you watch your spacing, you will have some ranged attack options after Margaret completes a combo. When you get a window, you have to choose if you're going to punish or heal, you shouldn't do both. Other than that, try to dish out damage as often as you can, so you can keep applying the bleeding effect. And that's it for the first phase. After you get him down to about half health, he will be like You and I are not so different Spider-Man. After which he will naturally summon a golden great hammer. This is the phase where he becomes even more dangerous, and where he will also do holy damage. You will start using very difficult to dodge delayed attacks. If you are skilled, you can learn to dodge them. However, if you're like me, you're going to get some outside help from the skeletal militiamen. Why them? If they die, they will reanimate if they don't take any more damage, which Margaret is unlikely to do. You can still make a few mistakes with this method. Once again, the overhead attack is very punishable, but since I am out of FP, I opt out to take a little drinky. Unfortunately, in the heat of battle, I didn't notice I took the red drinky while I needed the blue one. But since I am a professional, I quickly fix my mistakes. Now, it might happen that both of your militiamen die because they take all the aggro. And when that happens, make sure you stay alive long enough for them to get back and take off some of the pressure. At this point, I was pretty comfortable with Margaret's moveset, but luckily, I was still allowed to make a few mistakes. I survived long enough for my big bro to come help me with the schoolyard bully. And just like in real life, I chucked military grade knives at him from a distance, while they did all the heavy fighting. One last tip is that if you do happen to get it, try to disengage and dodge away straight away to make it less likely the aggro will stay on you. Keep trying to apply the bleeding effect and it should be an easy fight. Now I'm just getting ready for the last overhead attack and I- Fuck. And it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching, now get me to 1k subscribers you mother